Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to look at how you can use Google Meet to create your own virtual breakout rooms. So if you want the students to be able to go off work uh, collaboratively with each other um, and then come back to the main meet later on, um, this is one way you can achieve that. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get started. So I'm here in Google Slides and I'd like you to imagine that we're already presenting in a meet that the students are already part of. Now that might be part of a live stream session and the students are just watching that live stream or it might be uh, an actual live uh, lesson itself and the students are part of the meet. That really depends on, on how you set things up. Um, but let's just imagine that as part of this um, lesson that's taking part, I'm presenting a slideshow to students and I'm going to bring up this particular slide. So I've been working with the students on translation skills and I've got here the introduction for them. So what I'm going to ask them to do is to go into groups um, in separate breakout rooms. Um, they're going to be going off into those rooms and I'm just making it clear to them here that I'm going to be in those as well. Um, I've given them some tips here. So rather than shouting over the top of each other, maybe type Q if they've got a question in the chat box and use that as an option. I can suggest that they take one person to take the lead and another person to keep an eye on the time because they've only got 15 minutes to achieve the task, which is in their groups to discuss the best way to translate um, a paragraph that I'm going to give them. Um, and when they've decided that, they're going to go into their um, Google Slides that I've shared with them as an assignment on Google Classroom and given them all their own copy off. So they're all going to write their own translation following the discussion that they've had. Okay, and the success criteria is obviously that the translation is going to sound as natural in English as possible. It's quite often I find that students translate, uh, but they translate literally and it's not what we would say in English. Okay, but this would obviously work for any subject. Um, so I'm not going to go through the, the details of showing you the actual um, task and everything else. You can see what it is they've got to achieve. Um, but what I would then do is show them this slide. So I would show that they need to go to meet.google.com in a new window. Okay. So I would say to them, right, open a new window, go to meet.google.com. And if you're John, Louise or Jason, your nickname for your room is Manthana. If you're Mikey, Heidi or Abid, your nickname is Naranja. If you're Steph, Peter, or Ben, your nickname is Perra. And if you're Lucy, Anna, or Roberto, then your nickname is Lima. And they would open up meet.google.com. They would start a meeting and it would ask them for their nickname and they would type those in. Okay. So what I would do before I share that with them is I would go and create the meets myself. So they make sure that I'm in there first. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to go to meet.google.com. Now I'm going to create the first room. So I'm just going to click join or start a meeting. And the first one was going to be called Manthana. And I'm going to create that. I'm going to join that class. I'm going to turn my microphone off. Okay. Um, but I'm going to leave my camera on so the students can see that I'm, I'm in there. I'm going to click join. And I'm also um, not going to worry about joining other people, but I am going to use mute tab, which is an extension um, that allows you to mute one particular tab. Okay, so mute tab enables me to mute this particular tab. So I'm going to pin this one so I don't close it by mistake. Okay, and I'm going to click mute tab on that one. So I won't hear the noise going on in the background. I won't get lots of feedback. Then I'm going to open up another window and do exactly the same again. I'm going to create a meet and I'm going to call this one um, Naranja and do exactly the same thing again. This takes me in. I'm going to mute my microphone. I'm going to join and I'm going to mute the tab. So I've now got two open. Okay, so I've got Manthana and I've got Naranja. Okay, and if you're not sure which window you're on, you can always just pop and check down the bottom here because it tells you. And then I'd open up another. Meet. Create a new one. This one would be called Pera. Exactly the same again. Mute my microphone, mute the tab, and just join. Wait for a second. 
pin that one as well. And then finally, I'd open one more. Create a meeting. And then this one was Lima. Okay. So open that up. Again, just mute my microphone. But mute the tab and join it. Now, obviously, at the moment, no one else is in here because the students haven't joined. But I'm then able to nip between all of the different rooms. So here I am in Manzana, Naranja, Pera, and Lima. And I would be able to see the chat box working down the side. So I'd be able to see what the students are saying. And at any point, I can unmute any of those tabs. So I could go to Pera, and if they're not being very productive, I could take my microphone off. I could even turn on the closed captions. And I could say, guys, you're not doing very much. You've only got 15 minutes. You need to start making some decisions. Okay. And then mute my microphone again, and away I go. And then I can drop into another room and say, for example, here we go. I might turn on the captions again. Hey guys, you're doing really well. I think you're way ahead of the other students. So well done on that front. Okay. And you can just do it from that perspective. Okay. Then when you're ready, you can just message all of them, either in the chat or you can come over live on your microphone and just say, you know, guys, it's time to come back into the main room and make sure everyone leaves. And then you can obviously um, then close those rooms down and, and get the students back into the main chat. Okay. So that's how I would go about creating separate breakout rooms. And obviously, you don't have to have four. You can have more students in them. It's entirely up to you. Okay. I hope you find that useful and uh, give it a try.